In this video we're going to take a look at data analysis of polymer mixtures using DSC. So the first thing we need to do is we need to analyse the pure polymers. And so in this example we've got polymer A, polymer B. They've been heated up with the DSC and the results have been uh, recorded. And we can see that for polymer A um, the melting enthalpy is 180 millijoules per milligram and it melts at 130 degrees. Polymer B uh, requires 100 millijoules per milligram to melt it and it melts at 176 degrees. So we can use this information to quantify uh, a mixture of polymer A and B. And the temperature will tell us whether the polymer we're looking at is polymer A or B because they happen at different temperatures and then the melting enthalpy can be used to do the quantification. Okay, so here's a mixture that's been analysed. So it's an unknown mixture of A and B, 10 milligrams in total of those two polymers, and we get some results here. So we've got a total area, 1350 millijoules for polymer A. We know that it's A because that's melted at 130 degrees, and then 250 millijoules for polymer B. And again, we know it's polymer B because it's melted at 176 degrees C. So what we need to do is we need to work out the specific melting enthalpy of polymer A. So we need to know how many millijoules per milligram that it is required to melt the polymer A in this mixture. So we take the enthalpy in millijoules and divide it by the mass and that gives us 135 millijoules per milligram. We then need to do the same thing for polymer B and that gives us 25 millijoules per milligram to melt polymer B. Now, to do the quantification, we need to take the specific melting enthalpy of polymer A in the mixture, divide that by the specific melting enthalpy of the pure polymer, and multiply by 100%. And just to note, this assumes that there's the same level of crystallinity in polymer A uh, in the mixture as there was in the pure sample of A. So we put the numbers in, uh, multiply by 100%, we get 75% of polymer A. And we can follow the same process for polymer B. And again, we're assuming the same level of crystallinity in the pure polymer as there is in the mixture for polymer B. Put the numbers in, so 25 millijoules per milligram was the melting enthalpy for B in the mixture, divided by 100 millijoules per milligram, which is what we had for the pure polymer times by 100% and that gives us 25% polymer B. So we can follow this process through and it's important to realise that it's it's sort of a ratio of the melting enthalpy for the mixture versus the pure um, just for that specific polymer. So as long as we follow this then we can quantify the, the amount of polymer for for each different type of polymer in the mixture. Okay, so that's been a video about the analysis of polymer mixtures using DSC. I hope you found that useful. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.